Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 16 in Kusto playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about take and limit operators in Kusto query language. So, what is these operators and how they actually work? With examples, we are going to discuss in this video. So, before watching Kusto playlist, I would strongly encourage to watch Azure Data Explorer playlist at least starting four or five videos to make yourself comfortable with data explorer clusters and databases and tables. Why? Because on top of that tables only, we will use Kusto query language to query them. And also watch my Kusto playlist from the starting in the same order so that you will get most out of every video because all the videos mostly in sequence order. So now in this video, let's try to understand about take and limit operators. So basically, these operators will return specified number of rows from input table. That means from one table, if let's say it has 10,000 rows. Now you said from this table take 10, then it will get 10 rows. But there is no guarantee which records will be written. It may be same, it may be different whenever you run it. So there is no guarantee. Randomly it will take records. But if you want to get like a guaranteed set of records, then make sure you sort the data first and then apply this take or limit operators. Basically take and limit both operators do the same job. So you can either consider using take or you can consider using limit. It is up to us. Okay. So let me practically show you that so that you will get most sense of it. So let's go to Kusto Explorer. I have already opened Kusto Explorer here. And if you see in the connections, I connected to the help cluster. From the previous videos, you know how to connect to the help cluster. That's why I always encourage you to watch all the videos in the sequence order so that you don't miss the things. You don't get confused what it is. Okay. So now in the help cluster, uh, if I scroll down, there is something called Strom events table. Okay. Which is under samples database. You can see it is under samples database. Now let's go to home menu. Let me click new tab that will open new query window kind of thing which you usually use in the SQL Server Management Studio. So here we will call it like a tab. So here let's say there is something called a Strom Events Table, right? And in the Strom Events Table, there are so many columns. For example, if I scroll down here itself, you can see there are so many columns. But let's not worry for all the column. Let's take only these three columns first. So I am going to use project here. Project, I want to take event ID, then state column, then event type column, right? Event type column. Okay. So let's get only three columns from this table and try to think like this is the input table. So this is the input table which has three columns. Let's assume like that. And it has totally 59,066 records. Uh, now I want to, this is like a complete set of input table. Now from this table, I want to take or limit data only for some set of sample rows. For that, as I said, I can use take or limit. So on top of this, I am simply using take, take maybe five. Now if I run it, it is going to randomly take five rows. Okay. Even limits does the same thing. So instead of take, if I use limit and if I run it, it is going to give the same thing. I mean, it is going to get only five records. And if I see, remember this event ID is if I rerun this, it may come the same IDs or it may come different IDs as well. So when I run this, maybe in this example, it may come exactly same, but there is no guarantee like exactly same rows will come for you. So if you want to make sure like a guaranteed set of rows should be uh, returned from the input rows, then make sure you sort the data first. So if I execute query till here, then it will get all the 59,000 rows for all the three columns. Now here, what I want to do, I want to sort, sort by maybe event ID. So with event ID, I am sorting the data. Let me select these three lines of query only and let me run this. So now my table was sorted with event ID. And remember, whatever the IDs we have here, 38, 37, 36, 42, 41. Only this set of five rows will always come when I apply limit or take. Why? Because on the sorted data, I am applying it, right? So it will always get only that set of rows. So if I run this here, this time it will be always getting the same rows. See, I can use limit or I can use take also. And when I run this, it will always get the 
same set of rows okay so that's how this limit and take operators will actually help you to get subset of rows from the input table so i hope you got an idea how limit and take operators will actually work in kushto query language thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much